Of late, both the centre and the state governments are taking steps to combat rumours on the social media. In order to check the incidence of mob lynching, the central government has also issued detailed instructions to the states. The Union Home Ministry has also taken a stern stand about the spread of such rumours and subsequent deaths triggered by them. The Home Ministry has asked the states to take immediate action to prevent such cases. The centre has asked states and union territories to keep a close check on the rumours of child lifting. Apart from this, the states have been instructed to initiate effective measures to prevent these rumours. Under this, the state and the union territories will identify areas where rumours are more likely to be spread. Simultaneously, the central government has also instructed to speed up investigations of child lifting and restore the trust of people affected by such incidents. Unfortunately, the government does not have any dedicated policy or law on social media. The Information Technology Act 2000 is not a law on social media. It does have some provisions to deal with intermediaries and their liability. Consequently, a majority of the service providers have chosen not to comply with the said law with the result that the government has been finding itself inadequate in terms of taking effective action against social media companies. So very quickly, the government needs to come up with a holistic national policy. The central government has adopted a tough stance on the social media also. On July 3rd, the central government warned against the spread of rumours on WhatsApp. The central government has instructed WhatsApp to take immediate action to stop the spread of irresponsible and violent messages. In its directive, the central government has said that WhatsApp and other messaging apps should not allow misuse of their platform. Immediate steps to stop fake news, videos and photos from spreading through such messaging apps. The central government has also made it clear that if such rumours are spread, then WhatsApp or other social platforms can't escape accountability. The statement issued by the IT department said all social media networks should ensure that their platform is not used for any kind of illegal activity. The government has also decided to convene a meeting of representatives of Facebook, Twitter and WhatsApp to stop the spread of fake news and videos. Earlier on June 16th, a high-level meeting led by Home Secretary Rajiv Gauba discussed the strategy to deal with rumours spreading on social media. India is uh, perhaps now the only market in the world which is rather unregulated when it comes to social media usage and data usage and data privacy. So for instance, GDPR came to existence in Europe uh, in last month and GDPR in Europe now is a strong data protection on social media platforms, strong scrutiny uh, which is being done under GDPR. US was regulated, China was heavily regulated, which leaves the fourth biggest market was India. India is rather unregulated in its tendency. Now social media has expanded rapidly. We have not changed our IT laws at the same pace. Unlike any other law, I believe IT law should be reviewed every year. As a policy, it should be reviewed every year because new tools are coming. After the central government stand on the issue, WhatsApp also took stringent action. It is making necessary changes to prevent messages from being forwarded without consideration. WhatsApp also appealed to the government and common citizens to cooperate with it. WhatsApp also came out with an advertisement on 10th July in Hindi and English dailies to spread awareness against the spread of such rumours. In this, 10 suggestions have been made to explain how rumours and fake news can be avoided. People have been asked to be careful of forwarded messages. WhatsApp is going to introduce a forward message feature. This allows people to examine facts in the forwarded message. WhatsApp has appealed to people to question disturbing facts of any forwarded message. If the purpose of the message is to provoke feelings, then it has been told not to share it with anyone. People should also check the truth from another source about information that may seem difficult to believe. It has also asked people to avoid messages that look different and have spelling mistakes. Further, it has asked people to observe photos in the messages carefully since often the photo is true but doesn't have anything to do with the story that goes with it. People should go online and learn about the source of the photo. People can take help from another news site or app to check any news.
When an event is reported in more than one place, it is more likely to be true. If people think that the information in message is false, then avoid sharing it. If you think that you are getting messages directly from any number, then you can block it. Apart from this, quit the rumor group. If the message has been shared many times, it does not mean that the news is true. WhatsApp recently came up uh, with, a, with a feature where administrator of any group can, uh, can control who can post on a group and who cannot. So you can control certain individuals. That only these people out of these 200 people in the group can post, the rest can only listen. Similarly, the forwarding feature has come in where uh, messages which are forwarded would soon be marked as forwards. Uh, much like an email is, where you get to know if an email is forward or it's an originally created. Uh, Facebook also changed its law, uh, this privacy policy. After the stringent steps taken by the central government, the state governments have also started taking concrete steps. Awareness campaign is also being run in many states, including Maharashtra. Different platforms of social media are also preparing to take effective steps in this direction. However, all these measures will only be fruitful when the messaging companies support the government. Apart from this, cooperation between the government and the community organizations is extremely important. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV.